Hello and welcome. I hope you're enjoying Elevate PX so far. I'm Michelle Garrison, Vice President of Membership at the Barrel Institute. I'm excited to announce this year's Ruth Ravage Patient Advocacy Award. Awarded annually since 1991, first by the Society for Healthcare Consumer Advocacy Board of Directors, and now by the thought leaders of the Patient Advocacy Council, the award recognizes an individual for outstanding contributions, dedication, leadership, and loyal service to fellow patient advocates. This year's award recipient is a passionate and committed patient advocate with a drive to serve. She is tireless when it comes to raising awareness about the rights of people seeking health care. During the COVID-19 health pandemic, she fervently supported the belief that providing effective communication for all patients, families, and providers is a right, not a privilege. When infection control procedures forced the hospital to prohibit all family members and visitors from campus, she became a strong voice for our patients and their loved ones to bridge that gap and ensure that there was constant communication. Knowing that caregivers are a critical part of a patient's care team and so important for healing and recovery, she found various ways to ensure that a commitment to maintain contact with family members was being continuously instilled throughout the hospital and outpatient services. She continues to be instrumental in bridging the communication and coordination between the inpatient staff, patients, and their caregivers. On behalf of the patient advocacy community and the Barrel Institute, it is my honor to announce the 2021 Ruth Ravage Patient Advocacy Award recipient is Linda Vanderborg, Director of Patient Relations at White Plains Hospital. We will hear a few words from Linda's colleagues about her commitment to providing excellent service to her patients and families. Congratulations again to Linda Vanderborg. What can I not say about Linda? She's incredible, an amazing and compassionate patient advocate. It was during the COVID-19 pandemic where she truly shined. I've never met anybody more committed to ensure that the patients that were separated from their family members were in constant communication. Usually our role is a patient advocate. We're here to make sure that the patient's rights are upheld and we're providing the best care possible for this patient. So this was that, but transitioned into me bringing the family in even though they couldn't be there, trying to be the best substitute we could. I feel like we became part of the family. So these FaceTimes, they included things like singing happy birthday when it was the patient's birthday, you know, saying hello, checking in, things like that. But unfortunately also included saying goodbye. Um, the saying goodbye FaceTimes or something I'll never forget. The Mayo Clinic Convalescent Plasma Protocol was a 24-hour day undertaking and we couldn't have run the program without Linda coordinating. She was very enthusiastic and she was always available. She never had a problem working nights or weekends and this went on for weeks and weeks in the spring of 2020. When I asked Linda for her advice on who could help me run a monoclonal antibody trial for COVID-19, she responded without hesitation, I'll do it, I am meant to do this. We spent the next several months organizing and participating in one of the most important clinical trials of treatment for COVID-19. Linda never backs down. She radiates so much confidence that it's infectious. And during COVID-19, she gave all those she worked with the courage needed to forge ahead. I can't find the words to express how truly grateful I am, but I'm going to try. I am so honored to be this year's recipient of the Ruth Ravage Patient Advocacy Award. This year has been tough for all of us, and so many people rose to the occasion to serve our communities when they needed us most. I could not do what I do every day without the support, professionalism, and compassion of all of my colleagues and friends at White Plains Hospital. I am so grateful to them for helping us bring the needs of our patients and our communities to the center of healthcare. I would also like to thank the Barrel Institute and the entire patient advocacy community. You have been tremendous role models and have always selflessly guided me through this entire journey. I will continue to make all of you proud for choosing me as this year's recipient and will continue to advocate endlessly for our patients, our communities, and for future generations.